We're at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, where tonight Sheboygan North and Sheboygan South renew their storied rivalry in basketball. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Martin. Joining me is Dan Koopman, former head coach at the Sheboygan South and a retired teacher. Dan, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what you're doing right now? Well, first of all, it's good to be here with you, Mike, after all these years, get a chance to work with you. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm uh, very lucky. I've had a chance to retire from South. i uh, currently doing the athletic director job at, at Cedar Grove, Belgium. Uh, just kind of filling in and, and doing some coaching there. Last year, uh, we kind of needed a boys, boys assistant coach, so I was able to help uh, Jim Minan out there. And as it, as it worked out, we had a great year. We hit the sectional final and, and uh, had a great run. And this year, I'm, I'm uh, changing uh, venues a little bit. I'm helping our girls coach out this year, so my first, my first shot at girls basketball. All right, we're going to do the girls game first, as you know. And you had a chance to see North. What were your impressions of Sheboygan North? Guys, okay, Sheboygan North, a little bit different team than I think Susie's had. You know, they're not a lot of size, but, you know, very skilled, very athletic, smaller, re you know, real quick kind of team. Real impressed. They, they were down at 17, I think, at Oostburg. The game I saw ended up coming back and winning the game. Did a lot of great things at the end of the game. So very, very impressed with what they did. Now, I know you haven't had a chance to see South, but you have read a little bit about them in the paper and uh – you know about uh, the South girl, soft, uh, pardon me, a freshman starting on the varsity. Talk a little bit about South and what do you expect to see out of them? I, I think with it being so early, I, I think South and as young as they are, I think I think Tyler's really just kind of looking, try to find his team, try to find out, kind of get some identity, kind of trying to find out what, what they're going to be about. So it's it's so early right, right now. Tonight I'm hoping I'm, the, the, the Tyler's probably thinking if we can just shorten the game up a little bit, okay, keep in the game, keep the turnovers down against their pressure and just hang around. I, I I, I, I think that's kind of what he's looking at. All right, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have some interviews, hopefully, at some point during the ball game. And uh, when we come back, we'll have the tip-off and uh, the starting lineups for tonight's ball game. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Christmas to children in need since 1947. United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. Mommy, can I still be paying around when I grow up? I sure hope so. Do more than hope. Since the 1970s, global warming has caused ice in the Antarctic to melt and populations of Adelie penguins have been rapidly declining ever since. There's still time to make a difference before the Adelie penguin vanishes along with its habitat. Go to defenders.org slash global warming to learn more. Testing one.
Back at North High's Acuity Fieldhouse, we're getting ready for the uh, introduction of the starting lineups. And uh, North is going to start three seniors, Dan. Uh, I would think that in itself is probably an advantage. I, I definitely think so, especially in a game like this, Mike, you know, with, with the rivalry, with, you know, this is an important game. I don't care what time of the season you're at for these kids. And I think having uh, people that have been here before, players that have been before, makes a huge difference. So advantage North there, definitely. All right, we're going to let uh, Bill Horsch give you the uh, starting lineup. Number 13, Jaslyn Mazowitz. Number 22, Kara Sutton. Emily Zernike, number four, and uh, Nicole Rubley, number five, were the first two ladies introduced. You caught it there's Andy Hansen his partner is Scott Stullis those two gentlemen are from uh, Howard's Grove and uh, we've seen them before they're a couple of good good officials a couple of veteran officials they do and both uh, Scott and Andy do a lot of games in the area so they do a good job how are you liking that athletic director's position out well, at uh, it's 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 a good job for me Mike it? Johnson it's giving you a hard time well that's uh, <laughs> yeah you know, him and I usually converse on a daily basis about something so unfortunately yeah <laughs> yeah it depends on it so Mike if you're uh, listening out there I got some things for you on Monday so <laughs> as usual just so our viewers understand our relationship we go way back when you were uh, working in Keel and I was working in Chilton and uh, you were the JV coach at that time and I was the JV coach for Chilton so uh, yep, and we attended a couple of Bobby Knight clinics together so uh, we go way back. The good old days, yeah, I tell you, the exactly. good old days, that's amazing. All right, North controls the tap and uh, they're on the attack. Saul starting in a zone defense, uh, one way to try and slow down the uh, Raiders. And I think that's probably what it is. I think a lot of times coming out, just to get in that zone, don't get shook, get the girls into the flow of the game, and then you know, and then see what's, what North is going to do. Rubley is uh, being guarded by Conway. Conway worked uh, a TV8 game at the time, was a guest announcer. North coming out, Mike, with what they, they did against Hoosberg, too. They'll, they'll let that thing come over half court a little bit and then, and then come up and put a little trapping pressure on you. And that, as soon as you uh, ruin Get you to turn just, your back. Yeah, turn your back, just kind of seeing how they're going to react with that. Bordeaux committed the foul. North and a man to man. Oh, there's a double dribble not yeah. called. Conway on the floor, steals it. Laying it up and in for the Raiders was Bordeaux. North get, getting in there, uh, into their full court pressure. Ah, there's a reach in fall. That's gonna be uh, the second foul on uh, Bordeaux. Let's see if uh, Coach Runnis lets her go, she's not. Pretty quick to pick up those two fouls and, oh. and not have to sit uh, have to sit some of that first half. Dan, what was your philosophy when a kid picks up two fouls? You sit them the rest of the half, or well, you let it, them in? Well, it, it goes. I think I, I know that's Coach Desatel. You know, will we'll do that, and I think sometimes it depends on the kid a little bit too. Some some players can play a little smarter, and others you pretty much got to put them down for the half. Puzzlewitz for an easy two, and we're all tied up at two apiece with uh, seven minutes left in the first quarter. South now switching into a man-to-man -man defense. Kick out pass. Outside shot is no good by uh, Furman. North gets the ball back. Conway on a nice feed. Back to Furman and her shot doesn't go. Conway's three is good. South cannot, Mike, keep giving up uh, two or three offensive boards here tonight. It's, it's gonna be over pretty quick if that's the case. They, they've got a rebound. It's interesting how the shorter team can sometimes do a great job on the boards. Just a matter of going, especially on that offensive board. It's a matter of, uh, you know, just sometimes just getting there. 
Morgan Paris on the foul, and that's already the third team foul on North. We're only a minute and a half in. Puzzlewitz's shot is up and in. She has four points. And North commits their first team fall. That's going to go on Nicole Rubley. I know that fouling, the, the, the pressure, the full court pressure, I think is nice, Mike, but if, if it drives coaches nuts when you're going to foul out of it. It, <laughs> oh, just, it just negates it. It just negates that pressure. So it's it, so it's, hard to get kids to do is it the, is. to it, pressure it is. without reaching. And then you've got a game like this, you know, with the hype and the, and the, and the kids are pumped up. It, it's, it's something you really got to be careful of. Good piece of ball handling out on top by Salzbrenner as it tipped away. Early on, I'm impressed with south pressure on the ball here so far for being such a young team. And Shot attempt is no good by Paris, but she's uh, fouled. Carousel picks up the foul. Perfect start for Coach Tyler Thomas, I think, uh, right here. Got, got some baskets on the board right away. Um, kind of get into a little bit of a flow here, handling the pressure. So I, I, I think he's got to be feeling good at this point. Do you think that he'll be uh, switching the defenses on and off, keep uh, North thinking? I, I, th I think so, too. I think so, especially especially with a team where, you know, maybe from a talent standpoint, they might not be as, as, as athletic as North. I think that sometimes can offset that a little bit. A good defense that time by Conway, and she picks up a foul on Rubley, and that's going to be Nicole's second foul. Two subs coming in are uh, Molly Burkhardt, number 10, and Emily Schaefer, number 11. Checking out are uh, Zernike and Rubley. Ball tipped away, but uh, North gather, gathers it back in, and now South does steal it. Almost a triple team that time, and North with a steal. And a South foul. Again, obviously that, that half-court pressure that, that North is getting is, is really bothering South. That, you know, that, that pass didn't have a real lot of chance of really going no. anywhere. I like what... Uh, if you ever watch the Badgers play, they don't push it up past half court and they always keep a second guard behind the line. So if you want to throw it backwards you, you, and rotate it around, that seems to work pretty good exactly, for them. Exactly, and that's a good point. You've got that release pass and, and, and the, the, the other, you know, as you know too from coaching, the other the, the other release passes get, get that thing to the middle of the floor. Oh. And that's right now, that's not a nice uh, pass. Nice feed inside and up and in for uh, Salzbrenner. Alyssa Conway, nice assist on that one, keeping her head up, seeing the floor. It's nine to four with uh, rolling down to five minutes left in the first quarter. Pulling it back out is Selk. Selk taking it to the hole. Shot in and out. Right string, wrong yo-yo on that yep. one. Nice little runner there, got to the lane. That's all you can ask for for an offensive uh, possession. North uh, patiently working it around. South still in a man-to-man. -man. Came out the first trip down by North. They were in the zone, at least it looked like it. It kind of backed off their pressure too, I think. The, just the fouls adding up and uh, North's Conway quickness. Got, yeah, Conway got bumped twice now, no call. Play on, South with a steal. And they steal it right back, North does. And drawing the foul that time was Nicole Maletsky and uh, South fans not happy with that one. The old block and charge, toughest call in the game. Yeah, the really. Toughest call in the game. Foul goes on Jaslyn Puzzlewitz, her first, team's fifth already. And Maletsky will be at the line. North on top, nine to four. Make it 10. Crucial now that I think South come down this time, Mike, and, and, and get something going. Down six here early, early in the game. It's 
cannot let this thing kind of get out of hand here too early. Kimberly Wyman in the ball game, as is Andrea Spiesla. And Maletsky pops in a couple. It's uh, 11 to 4 now. Conway knocking the ball out of bounds. You see South bringing some players up right now in an attempt to uh, just to help to get the ball in. Good move by Coach Tyler Thomas. Now one thing you could do, uh, girls would have a tough time with it, most girls anyway, is bring them all up and send somebody deep exact, for the bomb, yep, but exactly. girls have trouble throwing it that far. North doing a nice job too. The two places to look for the turnover in the backcourt and then before the offense sets up and North picking that one off. Rainbow shot by Paris is no good. That rainbow shot by uh, Salzbrenner is also no good from outside the three-point line. And then we have a whistle. Ball is going to go on Norse Maletsky. North presently on a 6-0 six, uh, six run. Spiesel has it, she's trapped, and uh, Tyler Thomas with a 30-second timeout to avoid the turnover. Good timeout there. Dan, what are your impressions so far of uh, Sheboygan North? I, I think seeing, seeing what I saw in, in that Oostburg game, they do a really nice job, job with their press, Mike. I, I really like their ball pressure. I like the way they play off the ball and, and anticipate. Um, they're, they're the real deal. They're the real deal. They're not as big, and they play a little bit different game Seems offensively. Seems like they know when to uh, come up on the traps. Exactly. Yep, exactly. Very, very well schooled in the press. Um, the South has just, just got to take their time and get that, get that thing down, get their offense rolling. Years ago when uh, T.J. Grams was uh, at South and I believe uh, Bob Ruskowski was the coach then, those kids seemed to have that uh, double team down and, and then the back guy would rotate up on the pass and get a lot of steals that way. Yeah, and that, that's, really, that's really what the press is all about, those kids that can rotate to, you know, to the open ball or whatever. Anybody can get the trap, but right. it's, nice yeah, exactly. it's nice to be able to rotate. It's nice to be able to rotate to that Another ball. steal by Another North turnover. and a good pass inside. Shot is no good by Salzbrenner, and then it's uh, tipped out by South. North will keep it under their basket. We don't have stats on the turnovers, but you got to imagine there's been a ton of them it's so gotta far. It's got to be a bunch here, way, way too many. Taking it right to the hoop on an inbound pass was Matty Bauer. 13 to four, rolling down to the three minute mark of the first quarter. Oh, it just when it looked like they broke the press really nice, which they did, then they throw it out on the half-court offense. And they did. They did a nice job of looking up the floor and getting it there. And I, 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 I think they just have to kind of take their time, Mike, and get get into get into their offense when they, you know, when they did get five on five. Lyman's got to have the confidence good. to take the shot underneath yep. the hoop. Absolutely. Salzbrenner wide open and pops in a three. Second three-point basket. Coach for Thomas the Raiders. cannot be happy with that wide, wide open player not matched up. Right, yeah, exactly. Taking it in the lane and getting a nice shot off was uh, Pluckelman, but her uh, shot bounced off. The other thing the press does, Mike, and, and you've seen it too, is it, it causes teams to, you know, to speed up. North did a, or South did a nice job of breaking it, but yet no passes, just put, put that shot up there right away, and, that, and that's definitely another goal of the press is to speed teams up, get them to take shots that early. That definitely would be to Norris' advantage. Oh, absolutely, no doubt. Five-second count, another turnover by the Lady Red Wings. Coming back in is uh, Puzzowitz and Burkhardt. Tyler doing a lot of coaching on the bench. Oh, good bounce pass. Nice Salzbrenner. cut also. That backdoor cut is a nice play in basketball when it works. Lizzie Free on the basket. It's 18 to four. North on a 13-0 run. 
And just as I said, this is a start that Coach Thomas wanted when it was about six to four. This is exactly <laughs> what, what he, he does, does exactly. not want right here. This is this is not he does not want. Deep pass to uh, Maletsky. She couldn't handle it, but North able to gather it back in. Spiesla knocked it away and saved it, but North able to uh, keep the possession. Good hustle by Andrea. I really like North's spacing on their offense to keep things spread out, keep the defense spread out, and, and to run things well. Betsy B up here on the top camera. Eric Wiesman on the bottom camera. Kerry Kautzer and Scott Mailoff working the truck and uh, helping up here in the booth, Steve Reiner. Bad pass, North gathers it in and uh, they're cooking again. Jenna Lacey had it in the corner. She slipped in when we weren't looking, or at least I wasn't. <laughs> You're right, they do a good job of spacing. Yeah, their spacing is excellent. They, they keep things spread out on the perimeter and they've got their post in there that's, that's got a lot of room to work. Set some screens to allow the ball to get moving. Lacey gets the shot off, but it's no good and uh, Puzzlewitz not able to save it and it's gonna stay Norris possession. Rubley coming back in. Well, I think this is one of these situations where yeah, you gotta. You have to. You you gotta get everybody in. There's no no time to save anybody now. You're in you know, the games on the, on line. the line right here. Yeah, the game's on the line. You gotta. Less get than a minute line. left. Waletsky on an easy basket. Nice out of bounds play by North that time. Twenty to four. Courtney Russell in the ball game. And uh, that shot was short. Nothing but net, but not between the orange thing. That's not what that, <laughs> go nothing but net. That's not what you're looking for there. Conway, uh, pardon me, it's uh, Free bringing it up. That's uh, Nolan Free's sister. Off the glass, no good. Rebound putback is no good by Lacey, but we do have a whistle. It's Ball is going to go on puzzle. It's so important for, for South to rebound, Mike. I mean, there's just, uh, you know, if, when they do get a stop, get that missed shot, they've just got to come out of that possession with it and get possession, get up get up the floor. And the other thing about Norris Press, if they, if they don't score, they're, they're not setting up their press, which helps South a little bit too. So they've got to start rebounding. Well, the other thing that's... Uh, Haunting South as they put North at the line. They haven't missed a free throw yet. They're okay, five for yeah. five. See how that works? Amazing. <laughs> it happens on the CBS and here too. Huh? <laughs> Tyler just said the check's in the mail, Mike. <laughs> Shot by Russell rims out. Free with the rebound. Shot at the buzzer is no good. And we're at the end of one quarter of play. North on top, 21 to four. Why is it you two have so much trouble communicating? I don't like the way he talks to me. All I said was that you had a big osteo fight. <laughs> well, what about the secrets you kept from me? Oh, so I didn't tell you about my drug allergies. Big that deal. That could have been nasty. How's your shoulder coming, anyway? Fine. I worked up to three-pound dumbbells yesterday. Oh. Just three weeks after surgery. That's pretty good. Communication is the best medicine. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Global warming. Some say irreversible consequences are 30 years away. 30 years? That won't affect me.
Leading all scorers so far is uh, Nicole Maletsky with the five points. And chipping in with uh, four points is uh, Lauren Salzbrenner. Actually, I take that back. Salzbrenner also has uh, five points. She nailed a three-pointer. And uh, trying to feed it inside, Lacey threw it right out of bounds. Well, hopefully after Coach Thomas had a chance at the quarter, settle his players down here a little bit. South can kind of kind of chip away at this a little bit here now. Another double team by North. And stealing it away for North was uh, Lisa Werner. What South is doing with the press, Mike, and you can see it too, they're, they're catching it, they're putting it on the floor, and then they're picking it up right yeah. on the sidelines or the corner. So What, they what either, should they do? Well, they've either got to keep going with that dribble and, and kind of reverse out of that trap, or they've just got to, you know, got to hold it and, and wait for somebody to go up and down, you know, down the floor a little bit. What they, what they can't do is they can't pick that thing up. They're feeding right into what North wants them to do right now. Ball tip, but uh, South keeps it. And ball is tipped out. Lizzie Free got two tips, one down on the uh, defensive end, and then down here on South's offensive end, she tipped it out of bounds, but uh, good hands. It was a nice hustle on her part, too, to go from one end to the other. A steal by Free, and then she has it taken away. That used to tick off Jim Eisner to no end because he'd always say that's the fault of the dribble. You got to know where people are you on the court. You got to be able to feel that. You can't see them, but. Puzzlewitz on a running hook shot is no good, but she is fouled. Foul's going to go on uh, Salzbrenner. The other part of that, too, Mike, is other, other players need to be talking. You know, there's, yep. there's just basketball, communication in basketball is so important with your teammates, and other people have to let people know that that's coming, too. These are the first free throws for uh, South in the ball game. Jaslyn Puzzowitz puts that first one in. You see the back of Scott Staus. I see uh, Cedar Grove won a good game the other night. The, uh, yeah, the, the boys. Uh, the yeah, boys yes. Had, boys okay. had they went against uh, against Elkhart Lake last uh, Friday night. Last night it was, yeah. So they're off to two and zero start so far. How's Mike, that big kid for you guys? Uh, Jesse Anderson does uh, does a nice job. Jesse does a nice job. Yeah, uh, looks like he's kind of made the step now from junior to senior year. Um, I think he's going to be definitely going to be a force in the conference. <laughs> Missed two shot that three. Oh, it's Salzbrenner. She now has eight points. And it's 24 to six. North picked up another quick foul here on the uh, on the reach. That one goes on Werner, her first. Now that's what you're talking about, catching either goal. On. Reverse dribble out of it, nice job on that time. That was, that was a nice job. Hopefully she could have kept going on that maybe. And that was Rubley. Get those ball handlers back in there. You betcha. Taking it hard to the baseline was uh, Pluckelman, and Puzzowitz gets a three-pointer off but can't get it to go. And then South commits the foul. It's going to go on Emily Zernike. It was a good set by South that time. It had nice open shot. That's really about all you can ask for. A shot just didn't go down. We're at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. Uh, Dan Koopman alongside me. I'm Mike Martin, and uh, we're really happy to be bringing you some basketball. It's uh, been a long time since uh, we've done a broadcast. The football season ended over a month ago for us. It's just a little different having this uh, north-south game so early in the season. Exactly. It? Yeah, it's just it's a little bit different with the new conference. And I know so. I asked you about it, yeah. but I think it is a valid point, and that is, you know, as a coach, you really don't get a feel sometimes for your team until you get four or five games in. Exactly, I, and especially with both teams this year, Mike, with girls and the boys with new players and, you know, hit hard by graduations and everything. Ball goes on Conway, that's her first. Shooting two is Pluckelman. Yeah. 
We get a good shot of Caitlin. And timeout, Sheboygan North. We're at the 6.35 mark of the second quarter. North on top, 24 to 6. And Coach Rune has taken a timeout here. I think he wants to address the foul situation. It's been about the, you know, the last few times down the floor here. North has, North has picked up some fouls. And that's uh, obviously the South's, South's advantage to get some kind of offense going, whether it be the free throw line or whatever. We've got to mark out. South's got two timeouts that they've used already. Good shot. We have a nice crowd for this first ball game. Expect to have a uh, good crowd for uh, the second one. Uh, North so far, Coop uh, has run the table. It's the freshman teams have won from North, and the JV okay. games have been won by yeah, North. So uh, North so far, huh? South trying to get a victory here tonight. I thought he signaled two shots. Apparently not. A deep three-pointer is no good by Free, and South controls. Rubley did a good job of getting the pass off and then making the basket was Pluckelman. South coming out after the timeout. I like it here, Mike. Just a little pressure up the floor. Maybe get a turnover here too, gain a possession or two. They now have a three-point run on North. Shot rims out for Lacey. And then committing the foul was Lizzie Free. Good rebound by South that time. It's what they need to do here. No second shots for North. Slowly kind of chip away possession by possession here, try to get back in this game. And uh, that foul is going to send uh, South to the line. Now it becomes vitally important if you want to crawl back in to make the free throws. Exactly, exactly. Zernike uh, shooting the one and one. Emily only one of two seniors on the South team. Very oh young team. Oh boy, good give and go. Very nice pass. Kirk, uh, pardon me, uh, Conway to uh, Salzbrenner. Check that to Free. And uh, Free gets fouled. She'll be shooting a pair. That was the one thing I, when I was impressed with uh, North when I saw them play the game against Hoosberg was their passing, Mike. Nice passers. Us being a couple of short guys, usually those short people are good passers. <laughs> well, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Hey, we're good passers. It just doesn't always go to our teammates. Well, that's Somebody's always catching it. And also, when you can't shoot, you got to be a good passer, too. <laughs> so that, that's probably the other thing, especially with me, anyway. Hey, if you don't ever want to shoot, just give it to me. <laughs> okay, you'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's too easy. Off the free throw. with an easy that's two. Not a good rebound off the free throw. Good offensive rebound, not bad for South. That basket makes it uh, 26 to eight with 5.36 remaining until the half. And checking out is uh, Jaslyn Puzowitz. Salzbrenner. What's that? Pass it to the passer? Yep, pass it, that, the, the inbounder, Mike. That's the uh, best, best people to get it to in an out-of-bounds play. Steal and then the layup by Conway is good and uh, North on a roll again. South timeout. 31 to eight, 520 remaining. We're gonna take a short break, we'll be right back. Excuse me, are you Santa Claus? I heard you might be him. If you are him, here's my list. Help the Marines make Christmas possible for less fortunate children. Donate a new toy to Toys for Tots. Yes, Santa Claus. Hey, how do I get in on a government auction? 
You know, like for a car? Well, what about renewing my driver's license? Don't bring your government questions to just anyone. Go to firstgov.gov, the official source of federal, state, and local government information. And don't everybody chime in at once. Just in case some of our uh, viewers are wondering where uh, Chris Wright is, and I don't know who that would be, but <laughs> he's at uh, Brandon McGee's wedding, and Brandon McGee played baseball for Chris. He's uh, signed a contract with the uh, Toronto Blue Jays, and uh, hopefully next year he'll be playing AAA baseball. Good for him. That's great. South, a good job of breaking the press, doing everything that Dan had mentioned you're supposed to do, especially get the ball in the middle. But, and it got stolen away. Freeze shot is no good. And South got the rebound, but getting the tie up was uh, Maddie Bauer, number 32. And uh, I believe the possession arrow is uh, in South's direction, so they'll get it back. They don't guard the inbounder, Dan. No, it, it was similar to what the boys do. I think it's, it's pretty similar to Coach Desatel's press. I think every once in a while they'll mix it up and put somebody on, on the inbounder. Um, but for the most part, they, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll keep that uh, person off the inbounder and, and they'll look to trap with that person. Kara Selk uh, commits the foul, her second. And uh, you know, we talked a little bit about uh, her. And uh, Selk has been a non-factor so far. So far, yeah. With the early fouls, that's just the one, the one disadvantage of, of foul. You know, fouls are mistakes, Mike. And, and getting early fouls. Puts, you know, puts players on the bench early, takes them out of their game, gets them out of their rhythm. Uh, could, could be what's happened here a little bit. And young players sometimes have difficulty handling that. Absolutely. No doubt. Getting ready to check in is uh, Wyman. North is going to toss it in. It's 31 to 8. North on top. Paris feeds it back to Salzbrenner, whose three-pointer is no good, and South with the board. The one thing you don't see very often is teams pressing off a missed yeah, shot. I was just going to mention that. That was, that was a good, good observation there. And I think uh, North looking to do that as a result of South just not, not, you know, not getting the ball at the floor real quick. Schaefer had it, trying to kick it inside to Spiesel, and it's knocked out of bounds. It's a nice look on that pass. Got the ball into the post and then and looked to dump down. It's almost there. Abby Furman checking back in. And I think Furman's going to pick up the foul. She is. That's her first. Going to the line will be Spizla. Thirty-one to eight, North on top. They led it at the end of the first quarter, twenty-one to four, and uh, that big lead was a result of a 16-0 run before uh, Saul finally scored some points in the second quarter. South giving them a little full court pressure here, getting the turnover this time. Here's a saying, I'm sure you've heard it, it's hard to press a pressing team. And, and that, there is something to that. There is, I, think, I, think, I definitely think there is something to that too, just because they work on it. You know, it, It's something they're constantly doing in practice, so obviously the other half of the team has got has to go against it. So there, there, I think there is a little bit something to that, Mike. It's good observation. North getting or Schaefer. South getting a chance here to, to convert some free throws and just not taking advantage of it. Schaefer missed that one. Good form. Knocks home the second one. Makes it uh, 31 to 9. South with another steal off of their press. They might be exposing some weaknesses of uh, North. Getting the shot up but not in was Abby Furman and she's fouled. She'll be at the line. 
All goes on Schaefer. Now we're getting South doing a pretty decent job, Mike, of taking care of the press, but now they're just, you know, they're, they're things are just, they're just not been able to get that ball rotated and, and make some uh, clean passes in the half-court offense. Yeah, now really. Just turning them over. Well, North pressure is uh, baseline to baseline. Yep, yep, you're, you betcha it is. Second free throw is good by Furman. That makes it 32 to nine. South just struggling to get that inbounds pass in. Norris is switching Seems all the Seems like every time screens. they get it, they're going right to the corner, yeah, you know, and, and, and then you got like four defenders exactly, on it. Exactly, exactly. They just they just have to keep that thing out of the corners. Um, I liked what I liked what Coach Thomas did before by bringing his his post players or his bigger players up the floor, using them. I I, I think you just keep Bobby Knight, in fact, Mike, you keep, you keep bringing people up the floor until you get it, until you got enough players to get it in. I mean, you got to get it in. You can't do anything without uh, without getting the ball in clean. You know, there have been times, you know, they always press the guards, but sometimes you bring up your big guy, let, let them bring it up against their big guy. You betcha. Good, good, good point. I mean, you have, to, you have to get the ball in. Nothing's going to happen unless it gets in there and gets in there clean. Well, Schaefer's uh, getting a lot of free throws but not making them. Emily now one for three. Boy, South, extremely young team. Two seniors, three freshmen on that team. I was kidding around with Tyler. Hopefully we'll get these interviews for you at halftime, but uh, I said, yeah, Crohn's left you a train wreck when he retired from coaching. There was, yeah, that, that uh, with Coach Crown's, uh left that year. That was a nice team. That was a nice team. Amy South, Kara's sister, a very nice team. Sectional final, should have, nice chance to win that game. That was a great team, well coached. Wyman with a basket and uh, South controlling the boards that time. Makes it 31, 32 to 11. Outside shot is no good by Furman. Lacey with the board. Shot is no good by Conway. And then we get a whistle on the inside. North committing a foul on a rebound attempt. And uh, South is going to go right back and shoot some more free throws. This is going to be a long these. ball game. It's going to be a long <laughs> ball game. It's definitely going to be a long ball game. South into kind of a little one-three-one, three-quarter court. It's got got North not really rattled, but you know a little a little bit on their heels. Shot by Wyman is up and in. South offense so far, so far at the free throw line. Yeah, really. They didn't shoot any free throws in the first quarter, and they've had a ton here in the second. No good getting the rebound and putting it up and in was Kara Selt. Kara 30, 32-14. Oh, friendly bounce that time for uh, Lacey. She gets a three. 35-24. 35-14, pardon me. And a travel on uh, Conway, and she doesn't like the call, but uh, it'll stand. House doing a nice job in the backcourt taking care of that, but again, the North continues to, to trap and to apply pressure right at that half-court area. And they're just having trouble getting an entry and getting their offense started now. Conway coming over to trap, not even paying attention to her uh, person who she's guarding. And then a good steal. And a layup is good by Paris. Thirty-seven to fourteen. North by twenty-three. Lacey almost with a tip away. And uh South throws it away. Another turnover. South is, is continuing, Mike, to try to, to, you know, to try to go to that guard to guard or kind of that cross court pass, and and North is just stepping up and, and anticipating that they're they're just not looking to the middle, looking to the basket, you know, as a way to kind of break that. You know, obviously you got a double team, somebody's open, and they're they're just not finding the open player. Yeah, exactly. Well, Lacey can't get it to go. Paris with the board. Good swing of the ball. 
Salzbrenner looks good, is good. Melissa Conway, nice tie of job that time of drawing some defense and kicking to the open player. Nice use of the dribble there. 40 to 14. Salzbrenner with 14 points. Woo, got away with a walk there. Another one. But not that time. Not that time. Werner back in. Looks like South is going to continue to kind of stay in that 1-3-1 one, one trap, I think. Free and Maletsky, oh, pardon me, Furman, st Furman stays in. 1-3-1 one, one half court trap. Attempt to try to get some steals, get back in this thing a little bit. Shot is up and good by Werner. A three-pointer. I'm impressed with North shooting, Mike. They did a nice job with uh, taking the open shot, first of all, not forcing anything, and then obviously getting some That's of them one to go. thing that I addressed with uh, Susie in the pregame interview is that even with their really good squads, they didn't have real good shooting exactly. from outside. And, uh, they were a little bit more post-oriented, I think, and relied, you know, relied on people around the basket a little more. Well, and you get shorter players, you know, they're more used to shooting from outside anyway. Yep, you bet. Zernike has it on top, and then uh, we get a whistle. Offensive foul on the screen. That's going to go on Puzzlewitz, and if it does. Nope, it's not on. Katie Dietz, I think the foul might have been on, number 20. Okay. They haven't flashed it on the board, but we'll give it to her. Shot is up and in by Werner. He has another hoop. She's having a pretty good run these last couple minutes of the half. We're at the 41.8 uh, second mark of the second quarter. North is just dominating play. It's 45 to 14. They don't play with a running clock, do they, in the second half like football? No, no, they, they don't. I mean, <laughs> you got to play been, the whole that's time. Been, that's been brought up, you know, to, to do that. And obviously, the coaches uh, with the three-point shot, and nobody's nobody's going to really probably want to do that. But it, it, it's been talked about in basketball. And Werner gets the free throw, makes it uh, 46 to 14. Ball thrown off the leg of Werner, and stolen away by North. Werner, bango, oh, she hot. Nice, oh, nice offense, nice offense. Getting it to the open player, open player being ready to shoot. Nothing but net. Werner has uh, nine points in limited action. Shot is short, no good. Puzzlewitz rebound is no good. And coming away with the rebound was Furman and we're finally at halftime with North on top. 49 to 14. I joined the National Guard and never thought I'd be saving lives. It's more than money for college. It's built my character and given me a sense of accomplishment. Now I'm on a career path, and I'm the leader of my team. I put on the uniform, and I have a whole new outlook on life. Country, community, family. That's what matters most to me. If that matters to you, go to 1-800-GO-GUARD.COM. How far would you go to protect the planet? I want you to build an ark. Here we go. OK, that's good. Oh, OK. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Maybe there's another way. People, the flood is imminent. Is it too much to ask for a little precipitation? Go to fightglobalwarming.com to find out what you and your community can do to reduce global warming pollution.
Joining me is South High head coach Tyler Thomas. Tyler, tell us a little bit about your squad. I know it's young. Yeah, it's a real young team this year. Uh, we have a group of kids that are just learning how to gel with each other right now. So it's, it's a work in progress, but uh, they've improved since their scrimmage through last week's game at Appleton. And uh, we just hope to see some improvement again tonight. Now you have a player on your team whose last name is going to be familiar to a girl basketball fan, Selk, and this time it's Kara Selk, and she's a freshman and a starter. Yeah, she's really working real hard. Uh, she's worked hard all summer. She's in the weight room an awful lot, and she's a, a great leader to have on the floor. Um, and we'll see how that, that turns out tonight starting her. So, One of the things I know coaches look forward to is uh, working with their seniors, and uh, you depend on leadership from your seniors. You don't have a lot of seniors this year, only two. Talk about those two girls. Uh, those two kids have been in our program for the last four years. Um, they're quiet leader. Joining me is Susie Runnis, seventh year as a head coach at North and uh, a lot of success. Talk a little bit about that success. Well, it's obviously a tribute to a lot of great athletes we've had here at North. And, um, you know, this year, again, we're looking for, uh, you know, some success. And obviously we're in the early part of the season, but I, I like so far where we're at. And uh, we've got a long ways to go, but I, I like the group that we have this year. And uh, I think from the years prior to now, you know, the success and the uh, Continued work ethic and uh, proud to be a Raider uh, has been installed in the program. And so these girls want to carry that on. Now, one of the things you had early on as a head coach is a lot of height, especially with that uh, team that went to state. And for four years, you're dealing with a lot of tall kids. This year, it's a whole different story. Talk a little bit about the short kids and uh, what you have to do in order to be successful with a shorter team. Well, we were really focusing on pressure defense, both half and full court, and we've, we've got bodies at the perimeter position that we can rotate in and out and not really a drop off. So obviously our numbers this year are with the perimeter players, and uh, we've got a couple uh, post players. One's for sure Abby Fairman, who's really a three player, but we've asked her to play down low, but being able to play both. So uh, that's been a little bit of a change for her, even though she's played it last year. But you know, the, the posts that we do have are real active. Um, Nicole Miletsky is probably our true post, but you know, Morgan Paris is real um, mobile. And I think she can create a lot of matchup problems with some bigger people that don't like to come out and uh, defend the three ball or run the court. So um, it's obviously you'd like to have more balance, but you know, we're gonna work with what we have. And I, I like the, uh, the energy and the um, just the good work ethic from top to bottom. One of the things that you've struggled with in the past, your squads anyway, is outside shooting. Has that uh, gotten any better this year? Yeah, we uh, we shot almost as many times from the three line on Saturday against Oosburg than we did from the uh, inside the three line. So uh, um, we've, we've got a few more shooters this year, and I think with each year, girls get a little stronger, so they're able to uh, w develop their jump shot a little bit more. So uh, yeah, we're looking forward to uh, extending the, the half court a little bit with our long range shooting. Now, South does have a little bit of height that could create some problems for you. How do you counteract tall players inside versus your shorter players? Well, I think we had a great experience with that on Saturday night against Duisburg because their front line uh, easily had us uh, outsized. And, uh, again, we just used our aggressiveness and our uh, defensive intensity, especially in the second half, to overcome that. And, and we, we hope that we can wear some teams down with our rotation and constant pressure on defense. 
All right, with that, Coach, we're going to sign off. Thanks a lot for stopping over, and good luck tonight. Thanks a lot. NationalMSSociety.org. We go to any extreme to protect our children here. And here. And here. Well, there's a great way to protect our kids here against diseases like cancer, heart disease, and obesity. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, vegetarian foods. Now you can protect your kids from the inside out. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. What makes something amazing? Is it doing what people once believed impossible? Or is amazing something you become? We believe in doing the amazing, in dominating air, space, and cyberspace, inventing technologies, in doing the unimaginable. But our most amazing accomplishment isn't what we've done, it's who we've become. Global warming is a problem. Problem. It's a problem. I wanted to do something to become more energy efficient. To protect the environment. To protect the future. So I turned to Energy Star for help. Energy Star is helping me be part of the solution. Everyone can join the fight against global warming. Go to energystar.gov to learn what you can do. Together. Together. Together, we can all make a difference. We mentioned, Dan, at the end of the first quarter, North finished on a 16-0 run. They finished the half on a 17-0 run, and uh, there you see it. They lead it 49-14. North had 10 different players that scored, led by... Lauren Salzbrenner with 14. South had six different players that scored, and they were led by Jaslyn Puzowitz with six. But uh, it's been a nightmare half for South. Nightmare for South. And, and, if, and if you're North, exactly what Coach Runis has wanted to do is just wanted to pull ahead of these guys and not let South hang around at all, um, create some pressure with the turnovers. So they're, she's got to be she's got to be real happy. At any point, do you call them off? I, I think any time, you know, it, that's that's an interesting point. You know, when, when do coaches do that? We talk about that a lot sometimes. You know, sometimes the philosophy is we're going to do what we're going to do and, and we're not going to worry about the other team. And then other, the other philosophy is, okay, let's let's just uh, take it easy on them. I can't and, remember who I was talking with. It might have been Tom Fritch who used to coach football here at North. But anyway, we were talking about that same type of thing uh, in, in terms of football. You know, if you've yes. got a passing team in football, you know, and you keep on passing, it's not – too big a deal, I guess, unless right, you're on the right. short end, but if you're a pressing team. And and, and you're going to continue to do what you're doing and, and work on your team and, and right. not be concerned really so much about the other team. And, and kind of to answer our question, I, I think it looks like North is out here and continuing to trap and pressure, so it looks like she's going to you know, gonna keep up her game plan here into, into the second half with this big lead. <laughs> Scott Stoss almost gave the ball to the wrong team. <laughs> It's a, it's a tough game for officials too when it gets uh, when it gets uh, this big of a lead. Keep your yeah, it's hard focus. to keep the keep the focus. They you know they, they try to try to keep their focus. An attempt to get to the, the middle that time pass just wasn't oh, there. Good save by Puzowitz. and then uh, throwing it away was Selk. Shot is off by Paris and South with the rebound. North up 49 to 14. I don't know if our viewers can see this, Mike. They can't see the basket, but 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 South has got two players basically almost on the blocks on the, on the lower part of the near the baseline, wide open, and the South players are just not looking down there and not able to, to get it through the trap and see them. 
Self trying to pass it out of the double team and uh, it's tipped out of bounds by uh, Pluckelman, her teammate, who was trying to gather it in and uh, North has it back. That, that half court pressure, that trap at half court is tough for inexperienced players because they, 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 you know, they want the right way to always just throw it to that other guard or throw it across the floor and that's, that's where the defense is really looking to steal. North working the perimeter. North does have a height advantage at some of the spots on the inside when Paris gets down there. Outside shot by Bordeaux is no good. Puzzowitz with another rebound. A good bounce pass that time by Self trying to get it inside, but North was able to tip it away. <laughs> good little shove off that time by Zernike. Yeah, North just relentless with the ball pressure. That you know that pressure that time came came from off the ball. Um, South is just struggling, just struggling with that with that ball pressure to maintain some kind of rhythm here. Is it it? Isn't it pretty important when you're getting a lot of pressure like that to not dribble so much? Exactly, I mean, exactly. Keep the ball and it, try to pass out of it? Exactly. It, 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 I bet you if you look at a lot of the south turnovers, they're off the dribble. It's when the ball is on the floor, they're being picked or whatever. You know, you have to, you have to use the dribble sometimes to negate that pressure or to get yourself out of trouble, but it, it, it can't be into, you know, into defenders or whatever. So it seems to be the problem. Abby Furman picks up her second foul. Nice out of bounds play by South that time, just failed to convert. But at least you're getting an open shot. It was an open look. It was a nice, a nice cut, and the inbounder saw the open player nice. South coming up to apply pressure on North. Conway, good job of faking, faked our own teammate on the pass attempt, and now it's a scrum. Well, I like Coach Thomas c coming out and, and, and getting them, you know, just kind of a not give up attitude here. Let's, let's go out. We'll take our chances here with the press. Maybe we'll get beat back, but maybe we can get a few turnovers and, uh, and, and try to take it to them here a little bit, not give up. Well, it's important for the girls to realize that, too. You're exactly right. Exactly right. Got a really young team here, and, and if you can, like I said, get them, get them with the right attitude and and keep them playing hard. I think that's all you can expect sometimes against, against real good basketball teams. Salzbrenner so uh, creates a tie up with uh, Schaefer and uh, now it's gonna be North's possession. And South again, getting that thing down in the corner where it's difficult to deal with, picking up the dribble down there and it's, that's trouble down there. Okay, let me ask you this, Dan. Uh, you're a player trying to get the pass. What do you do to get yourself open? You know, you, you yeah, it, it's, it it's doesn't a, seem like the South kids are getting open. They're enough. not. It's you know, it's a matter of trying to set your player up to take him away from the ball and then and then come back to the ball, um, get some movement. You, you know, at the varsity level, girls or boys, you can't stand there and just kind of rock back and forth and expect to get open. You've got to take your player. You've got to use some screens to other players to get you open. And um, the South just just isn't isn't to the point of being able to move well enough yet to you know to be able to take care of that pressure. Well, Furman didn't make a decision. She looked to pass and passed that up and then didn't think about dribbling and then she thought about dribbling and at that point she traveled. Coach Runa's here quick with the hook on that turnover too here. To <laughs> make a get decision. Her off. Yeah, <laughs> get her off, talk to her about it. Yeah, good defense played by Conway. She tips it back out of bounds. Kara Selk is going to uh, trigger the inbounds for the uh, Lady Red Wings. Everything Shape. just contested here for South. Inbounds, passes, dribbles. Rubley has it. There's an open shot. Beasley's shot is good. And that breaks the 17 point run by North. They, we mentioned that they finished the half on a 17-0 run. South scores the first points of the second half to break that run. Bordeaux cranking it up a little bit deep and uh, getting the rebound for the Lady Red Wings was Molly Burkhart. 
Outside shot is no good, and uh, Lacey fighting for the rebound, couldn't get it, and it's tipped out of bounds by her. South will keep it. I like the fact that uh, South is continuing to play hard. They're hustling yet. You know, you hate to put it this way, but it's almost beyond hope. You're basically playing a little bit here for pride and uh, learning how to play hard the yep, whole way. Yeah, absolutely, and, and I think, uh, I'm sure Coach Thomas is saying, you know, we, it's, we've got to do some things well here down the stretch. Game, game time, we score-wise, we might be out of it, but, but yet, you know, we're, we're looking to do some good things, build on the next game, get some experience. Rubley out of control on that last shot, but uh, putting in a good effort. Salt picking up full court. That's what you were talking about before, Mike, yeah. kind of sending a player long and, and using that way to relieve pressure. It's, it's a nice thing to do. Conway taking it to the top and now swinging it over to Lacey. Salzbrenner looking to score. Good cover up defense by the Lady Red Wings to keep uh, North from getting a wide open yep, shot. Yeah, it was good hustle that time. Shot is no good that time by uh, Wyman. And tipped away. Lacey. Pardon me, Conway up and good. She really does a nice job of making that North team go run, you know, from defensively, not only uh, defensively on the press, but, but offensively handling the pressure and running that thing from the point. Conway has uh, seven points now, looking for number eight. And she got it to roll down, completes a three point play. Makes it 52 to 16. 36 point advantage. There's a mistake there by South too, kind of picking that ball up right at that half court line. Oh, good bounce pass. That was a good look. Easily shot is up and in. He has four points and a half. Kind of you see, see, see the experience back there, Mike, with Alyssa Conway. Catches it, looks down the floor. Doesn't dribble into any pressure. Hits the open player. Just kind of keeps keeps her head up. I was just thinking, Coach, uh, how North broke the press that time because you know they waited for the double team to come over and then she flipped it. Yep. Didn't let it get set. Exactly, and didn't didn't dribble into that trap right away. She she kind of took a dribble, saw the trap coming, and pulled it back, and then just hit the open player. Therese is uh, fouled on the shot. No call, and uh, slow getting back. Selk has it on top. North continuing to apply pressure and looking for the double team. Schaefer guarded by Salzbrenner. And walking before putting the ball on the court was Wyman. South got into a little, a little offensive flow that time. It made it swung the ball once and uh, had, some, had some nice screening action going there, but then, then the turnover on the travel. Conway has it, bringing it up against the pressure by uh, Cara Selk. Bordeaux, slow on the release, got it off and is fouled. Ball's gonna go on Burkhart. She's just gonna get two instead of three on that one though. Bordeaux in the uh, first half had two points. Salzbrenner comes out. And Bordeaux misses a pair. Coming in was uh, Maddie Bauer. That was Self nice offense that oh. time, Mike. That was nice offense. Got it to the middle yep. and a great South got it to the middle cut. and a nice, nice basket cut. Doesn't get any better than that there offensively. 52 to 20. That uh, pass was made by Selk and uh, getting the hoop again was uh, Kimberly Wyman. 
Very nice play. Conway has it again. I like how she keeps her head up here, just kind of in control with the dribble, kind of keeps, keeps an eye on open people down the floor, gets the offense started. Yeah, and that's what a point guard's supposed to do. You betcha. And you know what? And you don't see many teams uh, do well without one either. Oh, gosh, no. A good Very pass nice inside post feed. to Malewski. Nice, nice post feed that time. 145 remaining in the quarter. It's 52 to 20, North on top. They broke it up, broke the game open, pardon me, uh, late in the first quarter with a 16 nothing run. To have those 16 and 17 point run you had said before, is that what it was? Yes. Six, yeah, that's, that's, that's They finished the quarter on a 16 nothing run and then they finished the half on a 17 nothing that's, run. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive to have two runs like that in one half. Most of that fueled by uh, great pressure. Great pressure and yeah, and south turnovers. 54 to 20, timeout by the Raiders. And uh, it's a full timeout, Scott, so we'll take a short break. work for the feds, right? Can I find a slightly used hatchback at one of those government auctions? Something roomy but practical. With a sunroof? With a sunroof. You know. USA.gov is your official source for government info. From student loans to government auctions, USA.gov. It's government made easy. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where it's been all north, not just this ball game, but today. Uh, the freshman squads from North won, and uh, the JV teams from uh, North won this afternoon, and uh, now it's time for varsity action, and North has this one well in hand. Uh, again, a little respectability. South's going to have to win that uh, boys game coming up. But yeah, you, very rarely you're, you're, you're going to see them all like oh, that. Right, exactly, it's, it's yeah. Somewhere along the line here, we've got the one team or the other picking up a win, but... Trying to pass out of the double team, but uh, pass goes out of bounds. North will get it back. 129 remaining in the third quarter. A good hustle that time good. by uh, South's Katie Dietz. Nice to see the South kids again, like Mike. Dude's getting after a little bit, getting on the floor, and continuing to hustle, not get their heads down. What you see a lot of on Friday after school when the old guys play is they bend over. You know, they That's, don't get yeah. down on the floor and yep. get after it. Yep. But not these girls. They're playing hard. Selk has it on top. Post feed to Dietz. Schaefer. No good. Selk with a save. Threw it off of Maletsky and Selk's going to keep it. Again, there's the hustle you talk about. You betcha, you betcha, and, and that's and that's real indicative, I think, sometimes of, of young teams too. They're you know they're uh, they're, 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 they're yeah they're they're going to keep battling, I think. Kind of like your JV teams over at Kiel. Well, depend on the year, huh? You guys, <laughs> you, you guys certainly year. had your success at Chilton. There's no doubt about that. Got some good years over there, with Coach Eisner. Molly Schaefer, pardon me, Emily Schaefer with uh, a basket. We're under a minute, 45 seconds and counting. Shot is up and in by Jenna Lacey, a three-pointer. Impressed how the North girls are, are just ready to shoot the ball, Mike. They do a nice job of getting it off. There's no hesitation. I um, had North for eight threes in the first half. That's, that's pretty darn impressive. And uh, they have uh, another one here in the second half. So that gives them nine in the game unofficially. Yeah. 
25 seconds. Long outside shot, rims out for uh, Bauer. And a steal by Bauer. But Selk got it back. But Bauer did the right thing, I thought, when she made the steal, yep. take it right to the hoop. Yep, exactly, exactly. The best time to attack the basket is off the steal before that defense gets set. Nice anticipation coming up on that, on that pass, too. The uh, problem was Bauer picked up her third foul. 10 seconds and counting. Schaefer being driven back, and now she picks up the dribble. South is not going to get a shot off. 1.7 seconds remaining. <laughs> you get a list of Sometimes Conway you get to learn by your mistakes. <laughs> yeah, well, there, there, there's no doubt South is going to grow from this. I mean, they're, um, it's a very, you know, very talented North team they're playing here. They're, they're, they're only going to get better as a result of this. They're not going to see many teams this year that are going to pressure them. The Shot North by Maletsky so. is no good, but she is fouled. She'll get a couple of free throws. Foul goes on number 14, Kimberly Wyman. First free throw is up and in by Maletsky. She now has seven points. She's having a nice game off the bench. And she knocks home the second, so the third quarter ends. North on top, 59 to 22. by quarters. North uh, had a 21 point quarter in the first to South's four and a 28 point quarter in the second to South's ten. A little more balanced in the third quarter. North outscored South but it was only by a two point margin. Ten points to eight and uh, right now we stand 59 North 22 South. I see Coach Runis has gone to her bench and, and uh Five new players in here to, to finish up the game, which is a good move, I think. Selk on the jump shot, puts it in. Nice little move that time off yep. the dribble. You don't see that much. Exactly. Free handling the pressure. Maletsky wanted it inside and had position, but uh, she didn't get it. Shot is up and good by Lizzie Free. North, really nice job of swinging the basketball to that weak side and, and uh, getting the ball to an open player on the shot. Another three-point basket, I might add. That was, that was nice offense at them. There's South looking at the basket. Shot is no good. Good offensive rebound and a putback by Puzzlewitz. Very nice rebound. Turnover. South will get it back. That's 10 three-point baskets now for uh, the Raiders in the ball game. Shot by Selk is no good, and then uh, bad fall inside by Zernike. Fortunately for her, it's only going to be her second. <laughs> Zernike, Bill. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> 
Going on the other end for a bonus here. Overall, impressive performance. You don't have, performance a, you don't have a, a time limit how long you can stay here. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Jeez, it's, yeah, we're going to, uh, the boys, uh, boys game is like this with the number of fouls we have. We'll, we'll be here a while. <laughs> What's curfew? <laughs> oh, down hard for that ball was uh, Riley Fullerton. Seeing her first action. <laughs> welcome, welcome to varsity basketball. Exactly on that one, huh? Riley, a 5'9 junior. Maletsky uh, shuffled her feet before she got the shot off. Rubley is uh, back in the game, and uh, when she's on the floor, Saul seems to be a little more better able to handle the ball. I think they're a little settled. She does, she does a nice little bit. It's a good example right there coming out of that trap. I think she's a little stronger with the ball and and I, th I think gives them gives, gives them a little, little bit more opportunity, I think, to handle that press. Uh, Selk had the right idea. Push it in and then uh, dish it off, but her pass went out of bounds. Free bringing it up on, against the double team. And coming up hard, but not able to make the steal was Zernike. Oh, good inside pass. Nice pass. And with an easy two. Nice assist. Nice assist. Paul Rubley doing a nice job out in front, handling the ball now, taking care of that trap before. Nice pass inside to the middle. Shot is no good. And coming down with the rebound was Bordeaux, and then she's fouled. Those fouls in the backcourt might just drive, you know, drive coaches nuts. Or just you get a reach in there yeah. rather than getting back defensively. 70 feet from the basket. Yeah, 70 feet from the basket rather than getting back defensively. Getting back and getting set defensively, and they'll make that reach in there. And the other team's on the line. Bordeaux's on the line. That was the eighth team foul by uh, South. So Bordeaux makes the first. Now she'll get the second. Free throw here makes it 66-26 and a 40-point lead. Wow. Bordeaux has four points on the night. A lot of contributions by the Northsiders. They had 10 different players score in the first half. And the ball is tipped out of bounds. Besides the scoring, I just... I really impressed with their ball pressure um, their their off the ball pressure you know their anticipation um, they're 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 what they're well rounded they're they're a nice team they're the real deal I think the one thing that could hurt them is uh, if they run into a tall squad that handles the ball possibly some size yeah that happened in that Oosberg game I saw they, they got they got beat on the boards the first half a little bit and that kind of kind of was a difference uh, difference in the game they're able to come back and pressure and get some steals, kind of like we've seen tonight, and, and get back in the game over there. But you're right, I think that's a good point. But, uh, well, I know we've talked about it on and off all night, you know, with the pressure, but even the tall teams, you know, you pressure them, you know, that can wear them down. Oh, no, there's no doubt. No doubt. And they are deep. Yes. Yes, exactly. Russell has it tipped away from behind by Bordeaux. North on the break. Bordeaux taking it hard to the hoop. Her shot is around and down. Bordeaux with uh, four points in a row now for uh, the North Siders, and it's 68 to 26. And time, uh, pardon me, a uh, turnover by uh, Caitlin Pluckelman. It might be a good thing you're not keeping track of turnovers. Your uh, lead pencil might run out of lead. Wow, I, I just, yeah, I, I just, boy, I tell you, it's got to be up in the 30s, I would think, huh, turnover-wise. If you add them together. Yeah, <laughs> Whoops. yeah. Lisa Werner has it in the corner. Boy, she ended the first half with three three-pointers in a row, one of them the old-fashioned way on a basket and a foul, and then two three-point baskets from outside the line. I'm just real impressed with North with their just taking the open shot, being ready to shoot it, and then coming up and, and hitting him yet, too. 
Riley Fullerton uh, shuffled the feet before she got the ball down. Uh, 4.39 remaining in the ball game. 68 to 26 North on top. North kind of backing off the pressure here a little bit, at least from, uh, you know, from a half court standpoint. Lizzie Free uh, tipped it out of bounds but wasn't able to save it. Susie does a good job with her team. You know, she's had some talent, but um, she's gotten the most out of it. She, she does. She gets the most out of her players. They play hard. I'm, I'm in, real impressed with uh, I've always been impressed with her defense, not just this, this, this team, but all of, all of her teams. Fullerton. <laughs> Bad break, standing at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. South just continues to have trouble with that, with, with, with the pressure here, even at the end of the game. Shot by Rubley is no good. Puzzlewitz sneaks through a double team nice and puts move. it up and in. Nice move, sneaking through that trap. Puzzlewitz has 10 points, leads uh, all South scores. Maletsky driving it into the lane. Puts it up and in. Maletsky with 12 points off the bench. It's 70 to uh, 28. Rubley hard to the hoop. Has her shot blocked by Werner, but uh, Werner's going to pick up the foul. Puzzlewitz doing a nice job of seeing the open player on the wing that time, and then Rubley re kind of recognized in the open lane and went hard. Now uh, Rubley has been uh, held scoreless so far. She wants to get on the board right here. Nicole, you can do it. We're all pulling for there you up go. here yeah. in the booth. Yeah. Dan Koopman especially being <laughs> a former South by staff member. Absolutely. Well, and she, she's been in a tough spot tonight, too, playing out on the top in that, in that point guard spot, having to handle the ball. Just not a lot of opportunities. Russell uh, on the putback is no good. South keeps it. Shot off the glass and down by Pluckelman. Nice job using the glass that time. The bank is open. Yep. Coop. You don't see that all too often there, getting that thing off the glass. Rolling down to the three minute mark, it's 70 to 30, north on top. A good move that time by Werner, except she shuffled the feet again. Just every, just boys do that too. I mean, boys and the girls. They want to be, they get that thing quick on that Isn't shot that face. They want to be so nuts. quick. Yeah, they want to be so quick with it rather than just kind of taking their time, making sure that pivot foot is down. And just, uh, they're in a hurry to move to, to go somewhere. Referees will call that all the time. A good fight through that time by Free, but then there is a switch. Off the glass and down for uh, Kimberly Wyman. Nice job filling that middle, looking at the basket, taking what's there. You know what surprises me? She passed up that shot underneath the basket in the first quarter, and now you yeah. know, she looks confident as yep. all. Took her a while to, to, you know, to kind of get in the flow and get going. Good inside feed. Maletsky is uh, fouled on the shot, but a great feed that time by Lisa Werner. Two twenty-four left in the uh, ball game. Following this game, about uh, close to twenty-five minutes after the conclusion, we'll have uh, the boys. What are you thinking about that one, Mike? I think that's going to be a real good ball game. I saw South play the other night, and uh, I was impressed with their uh, uh, guard play. I thought uh, Riley Tudis especially is a force inside or out and can play defense inside or out. Uh, I was, then I saw North play against De Pere while uh, they were very, very good De Pere. Oh, De Pere uh, is a class of the league, I think, this year. Yeah, and uh, North had a lot of trouble with that. Devin Yurick is, uh, is a keeper, though. A sophomore, sophomore start guard. at guard. Yeah. A lazy pass is stolen. 
Layup is up and good by uh, Bauer. South trying to make that guard-to-guard -guard pass again against that ball pressure. It's just a tough pass. Well, passes are really lazy, too. Yeah. There's no zip behind them. Tossing it in will be uh, Molly Burkhart for South. Oh, that's going to be Norris Ball. Burkhardt had to get out of the way when it was tipped by Werner. Oof. Isla bouncing off of Furman. Shot by Fullerton is no good. And then uh, picking up the foul for uh, North is Maddie Bauer. For uh, Maddie, that's going to be her fourth, Coach. He's in jeopardy have, of... Uh, I think she'll stay in there, huh? What do you think? Yeah, I don't think it matters in the outcome of the yeah. game. You watch Norris passing. It's you know, certainly got a lot more zip to it, it too. It does. They're, they're, they're crisp. They hit the open player. Uh, I, I like how they swing the ball. They, they, they'll take that thing from side to side. Um, gets that, really gets that defense moving. Yeah, it's, that's a great point. Spiesla dribbling out on top. She's not the guard type, but uh, handle the ball okay there. Whoa! They're not going to count the shot. It's good it isn't a basketball camp. You pay yeah. 150 bucks for camp, they better give you that shot. Yeah, that one going. Did a nice job of making a backdoor cut. There was one of the few we've seen from South tonight where against that pressure, I'll pluck them a nice backdoor cut and, and, got the, and got the pass there. Ball goes on Lizzie Free that time. Going to the line for South is going to be Caitlin Pluckelman. Not many free throws this half. This, this half's been better from the foul situation. It's just uh, nerves early in the game, I think. Everybody high energy because of the game. It's, sure of the reason for a few of those early ones. One thing that I find amazing when we do these North-South games is uh, North has got a quick team, you know, and they play up-tempo, but when the boys come out here and start running around, it's a whole different it, story. It, it, it is it is quite a bit faster, yeah. Good recovery that time by uh, Bauer. A good shove, but no call. Kick out to Werner. Around and down. Very impressive uh, job from North in the three-point line tonight. Uh, they only gave her two on that. Was that just two? Yeah, okay. I, I thought it was going to be a three-pointer, but uh, not to be. Free with a good recovery. Fullerton on a... Had the right idea, kicked it up the floor, but uh, traveled before the pass was made. 21.9 seconds remaining in the ball game. And uh, there you see it, 76 to 33. All north. If you're south, I think Coach Tyler Thomas will get these girls improving a little bit. You, you, you try to look at some of the good things you did tonight here, the second half especially, I think. Move on. Hopefully keep your heads up. It's an awful young team. If you're north, you've you got to like everything that went on tonight if you're Coach Runas. Now, if you're Coach Runnis and you get the girls in the locker room after the game, what do you tell them? Well, it's, you know, you, I, I, I don't think, uh, you know, it's really no cause for celebration. You played well. You, you uh, enjoy the win tonight and, and get them focused on Monday again. You know, it's definitely time to enjoy it. And Fullerton scores at the buzzer to make it a final 78-33 Sheboygan North. Now, we were not able to... Uh, get interviews with the uh, boys coaches so you won't see any of that. Uh, Chris Wright and I did do a coaches show with uh, 
the boys coaches are on here you can watch for that uh, we will not have interviews following this ball game but uh, Coop we talked a lot about the north pressure and uh, it's relentless oh it's 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 impressive Mike and and uh, obviously I mean anybody that saw any part of this game it was it was the you know the the, uh, the big difference tonight so they're uh, they're they're headed for good things if they can keep that pressure up and like you said before uh, also, the just the depth that they have also it just just feeds feeds right into their well, pressure. I gave also. you the easy question first. Yeah. You know, what would you say to your team if you're yeah. Susie? What do you do if you're Tyler Thomas? I, I, and you get the kids in a lot. Yeah, of that that's a that's a good question. I definitely think you keep your heads up. You, you you try to focus on some of the positive things that you know that that did happen tonight. You use it as a learning experience, and you move on. There, they're like we've said many times, they're an awful young team. I don't think you get on them too hard about it. You just try to learn from it, and and, and just try to get better the next game. All right, with that, we're going to sign off for a few minutes. Uh, don't turn your channel because we'll be back with the boys game, and uh, Dan and I will uh, open up that game in a few minutes.